Fisher Creek Loop is one of the most popular mountain bike rides in the Stanley, Idaho area. The trailhead is about 11 miles south of Stanley on Highway 75. You'll park your car at Williams Creek Trailhead, where there's a large dirt lot with plenty of parking and even a porta potty for those last minute rest stops. The sketchiest part of the ride is the first 2.3 miles along Highway 75. There is a paved shoulder that offers a cushion from the cars and trucks that'll be passing, but it's one lane in each direction and the speed limit is 65, so it can be a bit hairy. Once safely on dirt, the gravel road winds into the hills past several cabins and homes. These folks are living the dream with unimpeded views of the Sawtooth Mountains and wide open vistas. The road quickly turns to dirt and continues to wind along a creek and through groves of beautiful aspens and pines. After a couple miles, the road starts to steepen a bit and you'll get your first glimpse of a large burn area. It won't be your last, as you're riding through the aftermath of the 2005 Valley Fire. You'll be passing through acres of burned and denuded lodgepole pine trees for the rest of the climb and for the first downhill section that follows. That first climb is the longest, at about 7 miles, However, it's very gradual until the final pitch, which is probably 200 yards or so of chunky, steep, rocky double track. Test your metal climbing it if you want, but do save energy for what's still to come. Take a well-earned break at the top, fuel up and get ready for the first true downhill of the day. There's some exposure on this section of narrow sandy single track. I doubt you'd die if you took a tumble, but it still can be a bit unnerving in spots. My advice, which I sometimes forget to follow, is to look as far ahead as possible and ignore that specter of steep downhill drop-offs mere inches from your tires. Once the section bottoms out, the exposure part is behind you. Now you'll enjoy a mellow winding ascent through a gorgeous meadow with a paradoxical mist of charcoal burned tree trunks and vibrant green new undergrowth. Several bridges offer convenient passage over a winding creek that accompanies you through most of the meadow. Take your time here and enjoy this beautiful spectacle. This is the last slow section of the loop until the very end of the ride. Once you hit the woods at the top of the meadow, it's game on! You'll be dropping into a 3 mile single track descent that will have you hooting and hollering like a little kid all the way down. Long sight lines and perfect flow make it easy to let off the brakes and just let gravity take over. pop out of the forest feeling like the luckiest mountain biker on earth, a view that greets you will confirm that you are indeed in mountain bike heaven.
oh, one yeah. or the other, uh -huh. side by side. There was a couple vehicles parked at one trail junction, but nobody. No people. So three people in 17.7 .7 miles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. And trail conditions themselves. It's like a, a trail fairy came along and made them perfect. Yeah. <laughs>